Hey, welcome back, Phenomenons. This is Frank. So listen, in this video, we're gonna cover that inspo button up at the very top of your music generator. Now, if you hadn't had a chance to mess with it, it's a pretty cool way to get some inspiration. Now, I've done a video in the past about gaining or getting some inspiration inside Suno, right? Different ways you can actually use um, the different tools inside Suno to get inspiration. One is a community, right? And so in this video, I didn't quite cover the inspo button, probably because that came a little bit later. I'm not sure, I don't know. But anyway, here it is. So we're gonna jump right in and kind of just show you how to use this right here now there's two ways to access this one you can access it right here above your actual music generator or if you go inside your actual playlist how do you get to your playlist is you go right here click on library right you're going to show up with a bunch of different um, links you can click on here's the playlist link right here and then this is your actual list of playlists now this is the playlist that we're going to be messing around with here but before we click there let's go right back to library if you don't have a playlist, right, because you're totally brand new, what you could do is just go right here to library. It's going to showcase all of your songs that you've created. Click on the three dots. Go right here to um, add playlist. Go right down here and add the title of your new playlist. We're going to call this new playlist, right? Very original. Click on create playlist. And then what you got to do is you got to click on the actual folder in order to see your song move into that actual playlist. So now if we go right back up here to playlist, we're gonna see that playlist right here next to the um, already automated created playlists inside Suno, which is your like songs playlist, okay? So here it is, this is yours right here. And so this is the one we're gonna be working off of. So if I click in here, here is gonna have uh, four different tracks, right? So three are gonna be very similar and then one's gonna be very different. Now, in order for you to make inspo work for you, right you want to maybe keep your actual playlist under about like five or six tracks okay and the best way to do it also is to pretty much kind of have like um in this case we have four so have three kind of similar and then one that is not like the other okay and what this is going to do it's going to kind of build inspiration based off of the actual tracks inside your playlist okay and i'm going to show you now the thing i have to tell you about this is there's so many different ways to play around with this playlist inspo folder, okay? Or this uh, feature, okay? Because um, you can, you can you can get really creative. And the way that I show you is probably not the way maybe you use it, but this is just kind of one of those ways, all right? Now, um, I mentioned that you can trigger it from inside your playlist folder. So as I mentioned, this is the playlist folder right here. If I wanted to get started, I can just go ahead and click on inspire and we'll get started now before we do that what i want to also do is just kind of showcase these three different files here that are different from here what we have here is more kind of an ambient okay so i'm going to play each one of these just a little snippet okay then i'm going to showcase this one right here which is the one that i said is um not like the other okay so let's have a listen and i'm going to fast forward a little bit so you guys can get to the meat and potatoes of what this sounds like here we go All right, so those three are going to be have that kind of a dreamy ambient kind of a feel, right? And so now what I want to do is I want to show you this one here. It's a little bit different. It's going to be the nostalgic kind of a rap. Okay, so have a listen to this one here. Let's go and um, go ahead and select play. You 
just a flicker But my silence been stacking like a loaded clicker You forgot where I'm from We don't chase smoke, we become the lungs Bite your tongue, now I've been mine too long Now the truth cut deep like a violent song Circle got smaller All right, so as I mentioned, right, you have three songs that sound very similar and then one that's a little bit off, right, sounds different. Now, again, um, keeping the actual tracks inside your playlist that you're taking inspiration from um, under like five or six tracks is going to be the best way to go. If not, it's just going to the results that you get are going to be kind of um, difficult to kind of work with. All right. And then you won't actually get inspired by this actual feature. OK, like I did when I first tried it, I was like, this is horrible. Right. Um, but that, too, is because I had a whole bunch of just different um, genres inside one actual playlist. All right. So uh, with that, what we're going to do here is we're going to take um, this song right here. OK. And I'm going to click on these three dots. OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right up here to remix and edit. And I am going to go to use styles and lyrics. OK, now let me explain why I'm doing this. Here's the actual song, right? We're not going to mess with the song, so we're going to remove this. What we need in order to trigger the actual inspo is we either need lyrics, OK, or we need the actual music style, which is right down here. Let me go right down here. OK, now um, you may be thinking, OK, well, um, isn't it going to pull from your styles? It can and it will. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just remove that part. What you can do is as long as you have any lyrics brought into here or any styles brought into here, um, this is going to work for you. Right. You, as long as you go up to the very top. OK. Now, as you see here, I remove the styles. I just have the lyrics because I have to have lyrics from somewhere. OK. And um, since these are already part of kind of the folder, I selected the one that I wanted right in there. Right. You can, again, pull these lyrics from anywhere. OK, now what you want to do is just click on the plus inspo. OK, and then go right here. This is the new playlist that we just created. And then this is the one that we were just uh, that held each one of those tracks, the four tracks. So if we select here, now we're ready to rumble. OK, this is where we're grabbing the inspiration from. We're using these actual lyrics. OK, and now we're ready to rumble. So down here, OK, what I'm going to do down here is in the actual four tracks inside the playlist, they were all female, okay? I am not going to select male or female, okay? I am, you saw me do this, right? I am not gonna change the weirdness, I'm not going to change the style influence, and I'm not gonna change the audio influence. I'm just gonna leave it as is, okay? So nowhere are we getting any inspiration other than the actual playlist, okay? And then what you feel is the actual lyrics, okay? So now, Let's go right down here just as a quick test. Let me just change this here and let me go into. Um, let's call this inspo test one. All right. And let's go ahead and select create. And just like normal, it's going to create you two different variations. And as I mentioned, um, there's so many different ways you can play around with this, right? You can actually go and grab the actual styles from this song, put it in here, and you're going to get like a totally different kind of an outcome, right? You, again, you can do many different things. Ultimately, um, the inspiration behind Inspo is to create, um, if anything, a new instrumental, right? Something that is really um, unique that you can maybe um, create stems from, grab stems from, uh, remove the actual vocals and maybe reuse the, the actual instrumentals, um, which in this case, oftentimes what happens is, is there's that one instrumental or maybe two instrumentals that you can remove that you that will just help improve the actual overall instrumental in general, right, by utilizing get stems. All right, so here we go. Here's two different variations. So let's have a listen to the first one. Good, but 
smaller, quick, quick One snake less, that's legit Started the fire, now you lit You talk, I finish it All right, so you can feel and hear, right, the ambience um, kind of um, mixed in with this kind of a rap style. And so let's listen to the next one here. Tell me what you think. Whispers floating in your sideways smirk. You was in the crew, now you're trying to do dirt, throwing shade in the dark. Like I wouldn't catch the flicker, but my silence been stacking like a loaded clicker. You forgot where I'm from. We don't chase smoke, we become the lungs. Bite your tongue, now nah, I've been mine too long. Now the truth cut deep like a violent song. Circle got smaller. Click, click. One snake less, that's legit. All right, so there you go. Uh, you got two different variations. Again, this is without um, any influence coming in from um, this style here. So now what I want to do real quick is I want to go right back into, um, let's see here. Yeah, this one right here. And is it over here? Yeah. So let's just grab this right here. Um, yeah, let's just grab this amount of words right here. And let's go back into here. Okay, this is where we created this. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to enter it in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just select female. I'm going to go ahead and leave these uh, the exact same, right? We like everything else, right? And let's just go ahead and select create. <clears throat> All right. So next, um, let's see here. Let me make sure. Yeah. I want to make sure that was still up there. And let's hit the first one. Here we go. So again, if we go right back down here to the actual um, styles, right, we have or we went back into a nostalgic, emotional string orchestra, right, um, with that kind of ambient kind of a feel. So again, just as I mentioned, right, there are so many different things that you can do with Inspo. And in order to really gain control and have uh, maybe a better outcome is keep it to six tracks or below or five tracks. In this case that I just showed you, I kept it to four. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did like this video, also comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. So anytime I'm messing around with AI, you're the first to know about it. I'm Frank with The Phenomenon. Hey, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>